Good morning. It's the 29th of December 2022. It's a very beautiful morning, as you can see. So I'd like to get out in a forest here next to Augsburg, try to find some interesting stuff. I kind of discovered a place on Google Maps and I'd like to see it for myself, see if it's as interesting as I imagine. So let's head out and see what it is. So we're just getting on the highway to get west of Augsburg. So I really never knew about this place. It was just a discovery here on Google Maps. And I told you that I lived here in Augsburg in the 90s. I never heard about this place. And I was a little bit reading about it. So it seems like it got discovered that somebody by chance just uh, got an old picture from this place in a forest and so they started looking for it and they found it. It's about 40 kilometers west of Augsburg along the highway here, along the highway number 8. So it was quite a project from the Nazis in the World War. And I'm very curious because it's a very smart position and a thing that the Allies probably, not that they didn't expect it, they expected probably that the German would do something like this. But yeah, they just, uh, they built this place where they would uh, assemble planes to strike against the Allies when they were bombing German cities and it never really got discovered so this is the amazing thing about this place and it just uh, at some point later just uh, got forgotten so in 2015 somebody discovered it and uh, yeah just in Google Maps so I'm heading out to see what's left from this place. So this is the exit we're taking and this place must be somewhere, I'm not really sure if you can see it in the distance, there's this wind park with uh, windmills, so we're heading right here to the forest and let's try to find this place. I just stopped here at this parking lot just to look for some further directions to get to the forest and I cannot believe this is Germany too. Somebody must come here at night, put this garbage in their bags and just dump it out here while nobody can see it. And I can't understand it because here you can just bring everything to recycling center or put it in the garbage bins. So I don't understand this, why this is happening, but yeah, this is Germany too. We just left the main road and driving on this field road into the direction of the forest. Hopefully we can find a parking lot there or somewhere to leave the car and then head into the forest. We got to the parking lot here at the forest and just next to us is the highway. As you can see it's just only a couple meters from the highway and the initial plan was to assemble the planes here in the forest just pulled it with I don't know kind of tractor out of the open highway and let them have started in the this direction westbound to intercept the allies. I'm not sure if this is the initial picture based on which they were looking for this place in the forest but here you can see a tank and this is the ME262 the first jet powered plane in some kind of cereal production here in the forest and as you can see it was quite good camouflage some nets between the trees and the allies never discovered this place not even during the war it must have been like after the war they found this place and the planes here I'm not even sure how many of them were assembled here and 
the Germans had a really big hope in these planes because they were the fastest back then. And if they had produced enough of them, they may have had a tur turn in the war and they would have intercepted the Allies and uh, not let them bomb the German cities here. So the plan was, as you can see here, so we are here at this parking lot. So this here somehow must have been the area where they were producing. So we're gonna go just walk in the forest and see for ourselves what we can discover. And so they were producing them, I guess, somewhere here. And they were supposed to tow them up to the highway. And there's a nice straight stretch of the highway here. Now it's a three lane highway. Back then it was just a two lane highway, but they poured concrete all the way in between the two lanes. So it was like a starting strip here. So the planes would, that was the plan. I don't think they ever really got to that point where they uh, started from here, but yeah, this was the plan. And if they had more time, might have even worked out. So as I'm comparing these two pictures, this one is a satellite image from like as of now, how it looks like here, the area. You can recognize this bridge here over this little road going here on the highway. And the same bridge we can see here. So this is the highway back then. It says even here to flight strip. So this was the plan from the Messerschmitt. Kuno AG. Must have been from the Allies later when they discovered this place and made the map of this place. But then you can see here, there must have been some kind of hangar or the production line here. And it goes right out to the airport. Or to the highway, sorry, to the highway. So when we go later to the forest, this must be some kind of around here. So we're gonna go inside this forest here too and try to find something here. Most of this stuff is uh, just kind of in the map here. So there must have been, uh, I don't know, like a place for the workers, some kind of, uh, I don't know, forest huts, something which uh, they were using maybe the production was here too i'm not quite sure but for me it makes sense that the production would be here and you just get the planes out to the highway this must have been some kind of like assemble and then they would have to bring it here i'm not sure but then they would have to like get on the highway so it would be quite visible so anyways i'd like to focus more here and see if you can find any remaining parts here. I guess there are some remaining parts because it's here on the modern map. But let's just go and check it out and see if there's anything uh, left from the time. This is the initial photo. Not the one with the tank and the plane. Based on which the newspaper from Augsburg, the Augsburg Allgemeine, started a research to find this place in uh, which on the picture here you can see Jewish corpses. It must be around, I don't know, 20, 30 of them lying just in front of the small uh, hut in the forest. So they wanted to know what the history about this uh, picture was and then they found out about this place and then started this whole memorial path here in the forest and yeah this is what it's based on okay so let's get into the forest it's going this direction and try to find anything anything which is from that time and look it's if it's all grown in if there's anything visible on the ground and yeah I'm very excited about this place. So this road here, this forest road, where we just got our car here, the parking lot, this direction, there's a small town called Burgau. There was a concentration camp 
with I think like about thousand people here and for this facility in the forest here the Germans got I'm not quite sure if you can find all the data but I read something about like hundred people from uh, Jewish prisoners from Poland and Hungary to come here with a, with a train in cattle wagons they got dropped here in Burgau to the concentration camp and then they would have to make their way must be like I don't know every day or they would stay here in the forest from this place from Burgau about 10 kilometers 15 kilometers here into the forest to work very hard for a water soup that's how I read a water soup and in the concentration camp you would be entitled one piece of bread so if you worked here out in the forest for your hard work you would receive two pieces of bread instead of one as you can see today it's just a normal forest here owned by the government of Bavaria I think and you can see here that's getting prepared for cutting down for the machines getting into the forest so you would think it's just a normal forest like any other forest around here in Augsburg when I go walking so there's nothing really which would tell you there was anything around here and if nobody told me and probably 10 years ago if you went here for a walk without all these signs and like this uh, dot on Google Maps which uh, made me even want to come here I would never know I would just walk by here and just see this forest left right just trees and nothing to show you that anything happened here as you can see it's just a regular forest nowadays with a mountain of wood chips from the forest here from the trees for generating electricity and then the big windmill again for generating electricity so nothing no hints that anything around here was I know different other than just forest let's get over here it's gonna be difficult to get through here this used to be a old forest cut down in, uh, at some point and then there's a young forest coming up so it's very very dense here the other part I think it's much easier but I still want to get through here and see if I can discover anything it's quite dense here it was very very thick they cut this forest down a little bit so the nicer trees can grow but hard to find any open spots and the problem is that there's so many of these young trees cut down that even if we were about to find something or there's anything left here might be just covered with this with this brush and thick stuff here that's nature for you in forests because if, it, if you leave something growing for 20-30 years it just takes back all the space which was there and even if there were any kinds of foundations here you wouldn't be able to find it but I see something dark there a little kind of hut something so let's just let's just get over there somehow try not to kill myself and see what's that no I guess it's just a like lookout for for hunters which is down to too bad too bad 
Okay, I got to this uh, little hill here. Let's see if there's anything above the hill. Well, I think it is. I think this looks like some kind of uh, protected spot. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I can see concrete over the other side. So, you can clearly tell how it goes one time to the left, flank to the right. So this was kind of in the ground. So they were protected a little bit. Even if the allies would come and try to bomb, must have been a little bit more difficult than just an open area. Hey, here we are. It must have been the the hangar here. You see? It's going over. Ah. And right down there, maybe 200 meters straight down, you would get out on the highway. And you can even now clearly see the highway from here. Obviously it's winter time and not a lot of green, but convenient. It must have been an old forest here back then, not a young one like now. So they would have the camouflage nets all above here. So we'd have hard times seeing anything when you're flying over here. This was obvious a pretty dark part of the German history, having concentration camps around Augsburg. And because of Augsburg and the Messerschmitt factory in Augsburg being heavily bombed already in 1944, I think, uh, they couldn't produce the planes anymore. So this is why they got out to here covered in the forest, having more prisoners, Jewish prisoners from Poland and Hungary and other places around, getting them uh, over here to produce planes and probably even other stuff in Germany. In places like this, just here in the forest. And it's kind of very hard to walk here now, in modern day. It's very, yeah, it's, uh, it's nature. It's nature, it's really not a place you would go for a walk through the dense forest here. And I must imagine how hard it was for these people to be working here under all kinds of conditions, rain, snow, and getting their food over here which was not a lot anyways and just working 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 and if you were not fast enough you would get uh, I know punched you would get uh, beaten you would get obviously not paid this is not like nowadays you work get paid for something they took your freedom you had to work for them and back in return you get just to starving and continue living found a piece of metal hmm. i wonder if it's something that has to do with the plane production i have no idea Okay, let's head down a little bit towards the highway and see if it was all connected down there. 
see if there's more concrete or anything where the planes would be towed down to the strip but it sure was a small plane if you think about this spot here how narrow it is on both sides if you think there were planes produced here and being pulled out down to the highway that's very small if you think about planes nowadays so just to show you one two three four five six meters seven let's say seven meters And here's the tire of the ME262. Just a joke. I don't know how it gets you. The highway is closed. If it got off a car and just jumped the fence, or how people throw it over the fence and get it to here, still unbelievable for me. So here's some concrete at the end of the hangar, it's quite thin, but I still think it must have been uh, concrete on this side where the hangar ends and it's only like 20 meters from here to the highway, so it must have been connected all the way, which is hard now to pictured the whole thing here because the nature has taken back everything here you can see it's just only 20 more meters and you're directly on the highway it's quite flat here i guess you would be able to push the plane even like with three four people push it out on the highway here which probably was not there was no traffic at all back then at the world war so you would be able just to get out here and start the plane right here here we are at the second site of Kuno where they had a lot of barracks and hangars here's a hangar here the forest, the thick forest in the background so you can imagine it was hard to find this place here inside some soldiers with some wings of a plane I'm not really sure if they're German or American So there were, after the bombing of uh, the Messerschmitt factory in Augsburg, this is the bombing of the factory, they decided to make this uh, place here in the forest to build the aircraft. So they had a list of 39 people from the concentration camp here in Burgau to build the facilities here. This is how it looked like when they were done so it's pity that you can't really see anything here because it was a lot of wood used here and uh, yeah, everything grown in so hardly to find anything this is where they would adjust the compass of the planes next to the highway here somewhere wherever this place is the Americans getting instructed about the ME-262 fighter and this is a remaining one here in the forest so actually there were 30 to 40 planes ready to take off, completely functioning and with ammunition left back here in the forest when the Americans arrived here in Burgau. So actually they produced many planes, it's 30, 40 ready planes and some were even transported earlier to another factories because they didn't have fuel here in the forest. So it was quite a sight and uh, a lot of work done here. This here must have been the main site of the main hangar here. Kind of see the edge here. I guess it must have been here. Because you can see even still the foundations here some kind of well or something 
must be a lot of concrete hidden underneath here. So like I said, it's really a pity that you can't recognize anything, just a couple pieces of concrete and nothing really here. Must have been like where the studs come off here for the roof, to hold the roof. And then there's this uh, canal here. You can see here, concrete on all sides, whatever this was for. I don't know if the plane was being constructed here and then the plane would have its uh, wheels on each side and then some guys could be underneath the plane and uh, doing some work. I'm not sure. I never constructed a plane. But seems almost like some kind of production line, right? Just found a tree which fell down here. She kind of like to walk on trees. But there's a lot of uh, holes here in the forest. I don't know if it comes from them digging here and using the soil like to put this whole kind of protection wall here or were there bombs falling dropping here in the forest like you can see this one another hole here like there there many holes I don't know were the bombs here like this what I have no idea So there were 978 women and girls came from the concentration camp Bergen-Belsen to the camp in Burgau and they chose 120 of them to come every day to work here in the camp and another 100 came from Augsburg in Ferze and the Germans had their own uh, people working here who got paid 6 or 4 mark the day these were the guys like uh, who were knowledgeable about uh, building planes and obviously the prisoners would be just uh, helping but it was hard work for them and um, as I read here one guy said who survived here that uh, he never saw anybody got shot here at the camp but they got beaten quite often and a lot hard So this is where another shed was here in the forest. It was some kind of washing place. They had water here. They are not quite sure what it was for. The water would be running off here. Coming from, I don't really see from where. But you can see, like a small shed. And up there, another one. If it was for eating or something like during the day for the people. But this one seems for washing too. You see? Hmm. Like I said before, it looks like bombs were dropping here. Everywhere. If you look around here, it's like some deep holes in the forest. Hmm.
there's another foundation here in the forest. Hmm. Kind of curious if there are any names. When you pour concrete, you do something, sometimes the guy is pouring the concrete, they put their names into the concrete, but can't find anything. Somebody put a geo catching logbook. See? Interesting. So this is even becoming a geo catching site for people coming here to play. Back in the day, this whole area was secured with barbed wire so you couldn't get in here completely secured and had some guards watching that nobody's entering this area so they have had some water system I guess everywhere you go you look there's concrete down in the forest here for some stuff. The one thing I could not find anything like you can see here must have been some pipes drainage here another wall here's some metal somebody was scratching like some stuff out here and another thing here let's go check it out just like random small foundation of something I was trying really hard to find like anything any items around here but there's nothing left I guess or if it's left, it must be in the ground already. The thing is, it's easy to find remainings of uh, concrete and bricks and these canals here. And uh, But anything like out of metal and maybe like what people used for cooking or something, I hope I would find some pots or anything like small scale. But as everywhere, you just got to places like this concrete must have been some barracks for people maybe even sleeping here in the forest like this one here or with a deep it's like I don't know some kind of well or something there's water down there you could imagine that it was a well or where they would get the water from wow. hmm. funny is it another geo catch site interesting so they clearly had some drainage system here, like this one, looks actually when you clean it up a little bit, looks kind of fresh and clean. Hmm. Full of water. So I'm leaving the section here, the forest, where everything took place in 1945. And I think 
what it most likely looked like is some kind of thick forest like here where they could build all these buildings underneath it's still thick but uh, it's kind of young forest now for me what it seems and just the fact that it never got discovered during the war is uh, proof that uh, it was actually very successful or the plan was a good one it never got realized like building and uh, starting hundreds of planes here but it's an interesting place and the history to get to know how many people would have to work use this forced labor and how the conditions were working here in these camps hopefully we never get to see something like this again that history repeats itself it's 2022 soon 2023 and I hope the times for this kind of stuff are over let's hope so finally back in the car the walk took me about seven kilometers but I walked around the forest as well uh, how did I like it uh, yeah it's uh, not as much as I expected but I guess you have to understand that this was uh, 77 years ago and I guess all these buildings were built quickly with a lot of wood and after the war many of the local Germans here around they just took whatever they could use uh, so there's not much left of it just foundations but it's interesting to learn about the history especially about these poor conditions and the poor people who had to work here and as I said I hope it never happens again and yeah thanks for watching see you next time in another place I dedicate this video to all the brave men, women and children who worked under these kind of conditions and lost their lives during the Second World War.